Good morning and welcome to Elevens is with Hells. Uh, today, the 5th of August, um, currently I will be on a beach with a little bit of a hangover, so a huge happy 60th birthday to my Graham for yesterday. Um, I'm on holiday, so this is actually a pre-record for you. But of course, just because I'm away doesn't mean to say that the fun has to stop. Today I have got some beautiful things for you to be looking at. But first, I will do the housekeeping as ever. Um, if you want to place an order, pop over to our website, which is www.creativecraftingworld.co.uk. While you're there, you're going to be able to see all of the goodies on the show just by clicking on the little purple tab labelled Creative Crafting World TV. And then also, if you haven't already joined our club, do have a little think about that. It's £10 a year to join. We will send you a little something when you join the club and then you will get a 10% discount off all orders on the website. Also, if you give us your date of birth details, we'll send you a £10 voucher to spend on your birthday, which is kind of cancelling out your £10 a year joining fee. PMP on all orders over £25 is free, so if you do fancy a little crafty spend, then do take advantage of that. Um, usual credit and debit cards to pay, including PayPal, and we do have Klarna as an option, so if you do want to use that, check out the terms and conditions on the website. If you've not already joined us here on YouTube and subscribed, then please do subscribe. Also, tap the little bell icon. What that will actually do is give you a notification on your device every time we go live or post some educational content. Speaking of which, there's lots of videos for you to be having a little look at of techniques and cards. And also, Jennifer's done one on the lovely memory books that she makes as well. So today's stars of the show are your everyday A4 card. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pick one up and show you it and then I'll do the usual little smile so and she's got a nice little thumbnail. Three, two, one. Perfect. There we go. So the everyday card, if you've not seen this before, you are in for a treat. Normally this is eleven ninety nine a pack. Today it is just five pounds, which works out in the club at four pounds fifty. You have got twenty four sheets. You've got twelve colours, and this is double sided with a difference because you've got a different tone on the other side. So let's have a first look through magical moments. Now this first collection here is all about your purples and your blues. What I'm going to do is actually hold this up and give it a wiggle. You've got 24 sheets, 12 colours, as I said, A4 in size, 210 GSM, so a nice weight, and it's acid and lignin free, but it's double sided. So that is going one way. Look at that candy pink all the way through. Uncoated, so you can add your inks to it. But if I then go like that, you'll see different colours. On the other side <clears throat> so whilst we have got 12 colors they're actually in runs of six so you've got four of each I'm going to show you those just to start off with so you've got that beautiful pink and then if I bend that over can you see the other pink on the other side and then I'll do the same with this one so you've got the softer pink then you've got that beautiful shell pink then the purples with the softer purple so you can see how these work together beautifully you've got that lovely mauve and then the lilac then in the blues you've got the darker blue then that paler blue to go with it and then we've got this soft blue and then the icy blue to go with and then it starts again with the pink so that's why you've got six of each even though there are 12 colours and 24 sheets because you think oh I've only got two of each but you haven't you've got six so that is magical moments I'm going to move on now to my absolute favourite which is the rainbow brights I use this so much because of the beautiful bright colours and again it's the same format so it's five pounds for a pack 450 if you are in the club and a little flick through all of these colours. You've got the reds, the pinks, the greens, the blues, all the way through. I'm going to go like this, like we've just done, and show you again on these colours. So the purple with the darker purple. Then this lovely rosy pink with the candy pink. Then that gorgeous bright red 
with the crimson. The orange, look at that orange, it's glorious. On the other side is yellow, which is fab. Then you've got that lovely grass green and then the leaf green. And then you've got that lovely turquoisey blue and the deep sea blue. And again, 24 sheets, you've got 12 colours and they are in sixes. So it means that you've got four of each. So you'll have four of your purples, four of your oranges, all the way through. <clears throat> Once I've shown you this next one, I know that you're just going to fall in love because these are Christmas colours. Traditional Christmases right the way through from your reds through to your golds and your greens. Give these a flick through. Again, these are 210 GSM and these are double sided. So you've got your natural colours in there as well. Aren't they just beautiful? So I'm saying that the rainbow is my favourite, but I think this might be a favourite as well. Let's give this a proper little look so you can see how they tone on tone. That deep holly berry red with your bright Father Christmas Santa suit red. And you've got your ivy green with the, that green. Those two together, aren't they just beautiful? Then you've got your holly green with the lighter shade. And then this one, it's like your mistletoe green. And on the back, that beautiful cream colour. Then your gold with your brown. Perfect for die cutting. Then you've got that lovely deep yellow with your bright sunshine yellow. So I'm thinking golden bells. If you're die cutting any of your Father Christmases or any of your hollies, they would look gorgeous with this. And then finally, for the boys. So this is a collection of your neutrals. You've got reds and you've got icy blues. This would also be perfect for Christmas as well. It's not just for the boys, it's for everybody. And again, a little wiggle through with your double-sided colours and your greens and your blues and your reds and your oranges and your yellows and then that lovely neutral colour. So, I'll do the same again with these so you can have a proper little look. We've got that deep green and then the paler one. Then the grass green with that lovely ocean blue colour on the back. Then... The Air Force Blue with the Icy Blue. You've got the red and then an orange. Look at that. It's like fire, isn't it? Then you've got that gorgeous yellow and on the back you've got the brighter tone of yellow. And then you've got this lovely khaki colour with a grey on the back. So it's like a khaki grey. It's one of those colours, I'm thinking, if you put something warm with it, it's going to look more grey. And then if you put something cool with it, it's going to go more green. So let's get that blue. Can you see how instantly that changes colour? So it depends on what you want to put with it. But those are the For The Boys collection. So just to recap, they are £5 for a pack. In the club, £4.50. And you're getting 24 sheets, 12 colours, it's 210 GSM and it's double sided. So I'm going to get cracking straight away into a demo. As ever we have got all of the other goodies on the website for you on our Creative Crafting World TV page including the white card, the black card, the craft and you've also got Woodstock, which is on offer. Check those out in a moment. So what I've done here is I've got one of our six by four cards. Now this is your landscape, but I actually want it as a tent fold. So the fold is at the top. And I've taken some of that lovely shell pink. This is from the Magical Moments collection. I've got a lovely soft pink. And on the back is that one. So it's up to you, whichever way you put it. But then what I've done is taken some purple, so I've got the lighter shade of purple. Is it the lighter shade? Yep, it's the lighter shade of purple. And I'm going to stick that on there like that and cut it down because this is actually going to be giving me a little bit of a border. So because I only want a fine line of it, I'm just going to bob a little bit of glue along the edge and then place that where I want it to go and then I can give it a wiggle into place 
like so. So we'll get that so it's a nice even width all the way across and stick that down. Then I've got my little scissors and I can cut that so it fits perfectly. And the same again here, so that fits perfectly. And then I've got the strip that I cut off there, I've actually got it that way. So what I can do is pop that on there if I want to as well. But you can see how you can use all these little bits and bobs. I don't want to because I just want it to be nice and purple. But I'm going to add some glue around the edge and stick this down. So I'm saving my card by not putting the whole piece behind. So you can see how little bits go a long way. And then we'll just bob that into place and stick it down. So I've got that little patch there of white. Embracing the white space on this card. Then what I've done is I've got my flower dies and I've used lots of different pinks and purples and also from the Rainbow Brights, I used some of that lovely yellow and I've made myself a little floral. And then I went into the, for the boys collection and die cut some leaves, which I can just shape. So you can see how this die cuts so beautifully. And I'm just pinching up the leaves just to give them some dimension. And then I've got this one here. And again, that one I'm just going to pinch. And then what I can do is start to build this up. So from the For the Boys collection, I also cut out some little berries. And I've got some more leaves. So I've got some more hollow shaped leaves there. I think this is the Autumn Wreath collection that I've got these, the, the Paper Boutique dies. And you can see how that's just going to shape. And it holds its shape because it's that 210 GSM. Now what I can do is get my glue gel. And I want my floral to be around about here. So I can just add some glue where I want it to go. And then I can start to add some of my leaves. Some of my little bits of foliage. And we can add that one under there just to add that bit of contrast and then just start to build it up. Bob that in place with my pokey tool and I've got some berries of course because the berries are lovely. They can go around about there and then I can place my flower. So just a bit more glue gel. And then I can start to wiggle these about. Using the glue gel really is a good idea because it just gives you a little bit more wiggle time. You can add the extra bits in where you want them. And now I can go in and start to build up these extra little leafy layers because I want that one just to go in there. And I also want some more berries because I really like those. So you can see how all of the collections work beautifully together as well. And then I've got a few little finishing touches here. I'll just put my lid back on there so it doesn't get too dry. I've got a little bit of that purple there. And I'm wondering, could I use that? Yes, I could. So, some more of that purple card, but some pink from the background on this little bit here. And stick that down. So I've got a little fishtail banner that I've made. And we'll just give that a wiggle. Can you see that's that different colour? Now what I can do is go in and snip this down and give it a little mat to sit on, like so. And then just a little bit more of my wet glue and bring that in from there. You could add a little sentiment to that if you want to. Also, you can stamp on this because it is uncoated, so it'd look fabulous. If you've got those flower stamps or stenciling onto it with your distress inks, it'd look fab, wouldn't it? Then just a little bit of glue on the back of a couple of little die-cut butterflies. There's another little one there. This is such a super quick demo. But I just want, it actually shows you how glorious these cards are, the colours that are in this together because you can see how beautifully that all works together. So from 
the magical moments are the purples and then the greens from For the Boys. And the yellow I've taken, I think that's, all, yeah, that's also for, for the Boys as well. So it's those two collections. But look how fabulous that looks. And that is just no pattern, nothing. It's just the cardstock on its own. So I wanted to show you how beautiful this card works together. And I thought, what better way? So there we go. So to recap, if you would like to place an order, then hop on over to the website. It's creativecraftingworld.co.uk. Once you're on the website, you'll see a little purple tab at the top of the page. Click on that. It's going to open up all of the goodies that are on there. So your four collections, your rainbow brights, your magical moments, your classic Christmas and also for the boys. Normally eleven ninety nine for a pack of this card today it is just five pounds and of course if you are in the club then you will get your ten percent discount so that makes it four pounds fifty. So let's have a look what else I've got on the show for you. I did allude to this earlier you've got your Linda's World of Paper black card so legendary so this is super smooth black card perfect for absolutely everything black on the front black in the middle and also black on the back so it's to the core and this i use for absolutely everything i've actually torn that there so let me hold up something white because obviously i'm wearing black you can see how dark that is everything every little paper fiber is black so as i said i use this my go-to won't entertain any other kind of black card now because this is the best normally it would be $17.99 for 100 sheets of this 200 GSM card. Today it is just £10. Next up I have got what is colloquially known as the brick, which is this humongous pile of 250 GSM cards. So you've got 250 sheets here. Beautiful bright white card. Again, this is my go-to white card. Die cutting, stamping, even using your alcohol markers on it you can use this in the electronic die cutting machines and you can also use it for your card blanks as you will have seen in previous shows that i've done i do use it to make my own card blanks as well so normally this would be 24.99 for your 250 sheets today it is just 15 pounds as well as those two beauties i've also got my favorite my beautiful craft lion. Not only do you get this gorgeous picture of the lion on the front, you've also got 50 sheets of 280 GSM craft card. So beautifully smooth. Why is this different to any other craft card that you've ever come across? This is smooth. It means that you can add your tape from a tape runner and it doesn't all unravel and end up inside the tape runner with no tape on it. You can use it in your electronic machines also because it's 280 GSM, perfect for construction, perfect for inking on and also for die cutting. Die cut three or four of them, stick them together, you've made yourself a little mini chipboard. Normally this would be $7.99, today it is just £5. And then finally, we can't leave out our beautiful Woodstock, can we? A carbon neutral card now, Woodstock is uh, 45 sheets of 225 GSM. And you've got 15 colours in here, three of each. So let's have a little wiggle and we'll have a flick through. You've got the beautiful teals and the mint and the graphite and your neutral colours. You've also got a beautiful white, but it's different to the white card. Actually, I've got some of my white card here. Let me show you the difference. Does it show up? It's not showing up so clever, but it does. It's This is more of a winter white compared to your bright white. I won't do that again, but you, I know that you all know. You, and she's going, oh, you can't tell. I know, you can't tell the difference, but believe me, when you get it home, you can. So you've also got that gorgeous lime green. You've got the pink and the turquoise, the red, the orange, more gorgeous neutrals, that lovely raspberry, and of course your lemon yellow. So that, let me get it the right way around, is your Woodstock. Normally $12.99 today, just $7.79 on our website. Okay. So, because this is pre-recorded, I can't interact with you, which is a real shame because I miss having our little crafty natters, but I'm hoping that you're all doing well and that the weather's still nice because I haven't got a clue because I'm currently on a beach where the weather is nice, hopefully. Um, what have you all been up to? Have you been having a lovely time? Um, Anch, when this goes, when this is, I'll get my teeth in. 
When we put this video on, can anybody leave comments on it? Yeah, you can. So that means that if you are around at 11, when this goes, uh, is it going to be put on at 11? Yeah, so it'll go live at 11 a.m. on the, uh, it'll be the 5th of August. But you'll already know that because you're already here. But I'm just saying for all our future pre-records, you can comment. So if you're going to miss out on seeing your little crafty friends on a Wednesday and a Friday, you can still have a chat on the comment section. So please do do that because... I am missing you all. I do love our interactions and I love hearing about all your little crafty escapades and all your lovely animals and... <sighs> there we go. I'm just going to flick through these and show you these again. This is Magical Moments, star of the show, number one. 24 sheets, 12 colours, A4 in size and this is double sided. So when we say 12 colours you're actually getting four of each. So, it took me ages to get my head around this and Linda actually had to firm it up and explain it because I could see 24 sheets, 12 colours, then there would only be two of each. No, it's not. It's because it is double-sided. So, they're in cycles of six. So, if I go like that, can you see? Let me just pick out that bright blue. So, you've got four of each. And also you'll have four of each on that side as well. So this really is a beautiful card. It's so smooth. You can stamp on it. You can add drinks to it. You can distress it as well. So you could get your um, emery board in and sand some of the ink away. So that is your magical moments. Next up, we've got Rainbow Brights. And you can actually make the proper rainbow with this. Uh, Richard of York gave battle in vain is the way I remember the colours of the rainbow. And you've got your beautiful indigo purples there. You've got that beautiful, gorgeous pink with the candy pink and the red and then the crimson, the orange, the yellow and of course the green and then the blue. So you could have two different colours of rainbows. You could have one that's really, really bright and then a traditional one. And again, double-sided, add your inks to it if you want to. Acid and lignin free, so if you're making memory books, this would be absolutely perfect. Especially if you did like, you know that fold over technique? So you bring the back through to the front, this would be great for that. Here we've got for the boys, again in that same configuration, but the colours in here are different. You've got your greens and that gorgeous ocean blue. Then you've got the pale blues, You've got the red and you've also got that gold and the yellow in there. So that is for the boys. And then we have got classic Christmas. And I'm just doing, while I'm talking, I'm doing maths. And I'm working out that if you bought all four, it would be £20. But if you're in the club, it'll work out £18 for four packs of 24 so that would be 96 sheets i'm standing up oh talking gosh. at the same time doing maths what is going on there's something obviously afoot maybe it's i am quite tired because today actually is the day after that dreadful heat wave that's how long ago it is when we're recording this this is really weird because I'm like a time traveller now. So I'm, I'm actually ahead of time, but I'm actually here still. So if I start thinking about that, then I'm just going to make my brain go all whizzy because also then there's the time difference to where I actually really am. I'm not even going to think about it. I'm just going to crack on with another demo. <laughs> so here I have got one of our beautiful six by six cards. So don't forget on the website, you've also got all the card and envelope packs, they're also on offer. So it is really worth getting some of those. All pre-scored, you've got beautiful quality envelopes that come with them. But for this, I'm doing something slightly different. I wanted to show you that you don't have to cover the whole card in colour. So on this one, I've embraced a bit of white space. On the other, I'm going to be embracing even more because I have got some strips of card. Now I could use those or I could use the paler ones. It really is your decision which way you use them. But I'm going to go for the slightly darker ones and this is the For The Boys collection that I'm using here. So I've got 
use my tape runner the right way round might help. There we go. I've got these little strips which I've cut two and a half centimetres and then three centimetres. And then I'm going to use these to make a frame. So one is going to go there and the other is going to go there across. So let's stick this down. Get a couple of bits of tape on there. And we'll bob that one in like that. And the same again on this one. So we'll just add some tape there. And we'll stick that one. So it's just overlapping and it's making that L-shaped frame. Add your stamps in with this, it'll look beautiful. These, imagine them in embossing folders and then get a sanding block on them. You can remove some of the ink and it'd leave that lovely white space. That'd look fab. Then I wanted to show you how beautifully this die cuts. So these are the centers from one of my Paper Boutique doily dies. So all I've done is the same color card I've die cut it, but I've done it that way. So we've got that different colour. So you can see how these work to colour and contrast. And then that one can be stuck down like so. And a little bit of 3D foam on the back just to lift it up and give it some dimension. So a couple of bits just there. And then I want to bob that around about there so it's it's almost like it's it's giving it that hug it's holding it in place and then I've got a sentiment never be afraid to stand out so I'm going to grab my tweezers and this I've done in that darker color so look you've got the paler one and you've got the darker one but of course if you wanted to bring in your black card with this you can you could use a stamp couldn't you and do a stamped image also you could run this through your printer because it's 210 gsm i think this would look fabulous if you do run it through your printer if you've got any of our usbs that have got you know the ones that are inserts that have got the plain bit in the middle you could use a coordinating color of this card and then print a sentiment onto it so it'd actually be color coordinated as well i think that would look fab so never be afraid to stand out. We'll stick that down, give that a little press. And then I got busy with the die cutting again and I've used some of the red. So the darker red and then of course that orangey colour. And just give that a little pinch and then some more of the yellow just in the centre to give it that lovely ruffle. And you can see on the back also those colours are graduated. So I'm thinking this would be lovely for um, like a quite a unique Christmas card as well, wouldn't it? And then, of course, some leaves and a few little berries, which I've already shaped. And that is going to sit around about there. That's where I want it to go. So I'm going to go back in with my glue gel, give that a little wiggle so I know roughly where everything's going to be sitting. So that one can go there. And then that can go round about there. Then I've got some little leafies which can just be going in like so. And then we'll have that one there. Then the flower is going to go here. So I'm just going to add a little bit of glue gel to there. And I want that just to sit in place around about there. And the beauty of using the glue gel is it gives you that little bit of extra wiggle time got some more of those little leaves which can just tuck underneath and we can move these around so they're more visible and press that down and then some more little butterflies because I think these look quite pretty and they are quite sweet so I'm gonna have that one there and then another one up there so you can see how these colors just work so beautifully together and of course this is a quick card because it's all prepared but you can have so much fun and spend so much time playing with these and because they are double-sided you've got that contrast so literally this is one piece of card for this and then another well probably I must use about half a piece of card for the flowers not even a whole piece of card for the borders 
and the die cutting because of course it's just one that's got that double side on it. Let me grab the actual paste. So, uh, no, that's, is that that one? Yeah, that's that one. So you can see how gorgeous that looks. And then where is that yellow? There is the yellow. Look at that. Doesn't it look fab? And then of course you've got that brighter yellow there because it's double sided, which is just brilliant. Okay, so that is that demo. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say to Ange, how long have I got left, Ange? It's already been half an hour. It's already been half an hour. Do you know what? I don't know where the time goes. So that means that really I'm going to do a quick recap and then I'm going to go off and refresh my pina colada. So if you would like to place an order for anything that you've seen today, hop on over to the website. It's creativecraftingworld.co.uk. While you're there, if you haven't already joined our club, do think about that. It's £10 a year to join and we will send you a gift when you join. Also, then you will get 10% discount off everything on the website. The other thing as well, if you put your date of birth into the details, we will send you a £10 voucher on your birthday. Postage and packing is applied at checkout. It's free on all orders over £25. Usual credit and debit cards plus PayPal for payment. Also Klarna if you do want to have that. Check out the terms and conditions on the website. In the meantime, I'm going to love you and leave you and say I'll be back on Wednesday with another pre-record. I've got a beautiful collection for you. In the meantime, have a fabulous weekend and I'll see you on Wednesday at 11 o'clock.